Ever wondered why training vessels hold a crucial place in the might of a powerful navy? Well, the answer lies in the very essence of their purpose. These vessels are not just floating structures of steel and iron, but they are the cradles of skill and knowledge, the forge where a nation's naval prowess is honed and shaped. They are the unsung heroes of the navy, shaping raw recruits into seasoned officers, ready to defend their nation's waters with courage and competence. Training vessels serve as the first taste of the sea for many cadets. They offer an invaluable hands-on experience of operations and tactics, allowing cadets to learn the ropes literally and metaphorically. A training vessel is a practical classroom where cadets get their sea legs, learning the intricacies of maritime navigation, communication, and warfare. In the controlled environment of a training vessel, cadets learn to tackle real-world challenges. They learn to respond to emergencies, operate complex machinery, and work as a cohesive team. Skills that are vital in the unpredictable and often hostile conditions of the open sea. Training vessels are also a testing ground for naval strategies and tactics. They allow officers to simulate various combat scenarios, analyze outcomes, and adapt their strategies accordingly. This continuous cycle of learning, testing, and adapting ensures that a Navy stays agile, efficient, and ready to face any threat. Moreover, training vessels play a key role in fostering camaraderie and discipline among cadets. Life on board these vessels is a lesson in resilience, perseverance, and teamwork. It builds character, instilling a sense of duty, honor, and respect for the sea. Qualities that form the backbone of any strong navy. So you see, training vessels are more than just ships. They are the pillars upon which a navy strength is built. They are the silent guardians that ensure a nation's maritime security by producing competent, confident, and committed officers. Without these floating classrooms, a Navy's strength remains incomplete and untested. And that's why training vessels like INS Tier hold such a significant place in the heart of the Navy, and indeed, the heart of the nation. Among these training vessels, the Indian Navy's INS Tier stands out for its unique features and capabilities. Named after an archer from Indian mythology, INS Tyr is a training ship, a floating university, if you will, that has been serving the Indian Navy since her commissioning in the mid-1980s. Her primary role? To mold raw recruits into disciplined and skilled sailors, capable of defending the nation's maritime interests. This vessel is a critical part of the Indian Navy's training infrastructure, embodying the spirit of learning and growth. It's on the decks of INS Tier that cadets learn to navigate the high seas, understand the complex mechanisms of a naval ship, and develop the leadership skills necessary to command. The ship is more than a training facility. It's a symbol of the Indian Navy's commitment to excellence and tireless service to the nation. INS Tier, a name synonymous with naval training in India, is more than just a ship. It's a cradle of leadership. Let's delve deeper into what makes INS Tier an extraordinary training vessel. The INS Tier is an impressive display of naval engineering. With a displacement of 3,200 tons, this vessel is no lightweight. It's both sturdy and agile, designed to withstand the high seas while maintaining the speed and maneuverability necessary for various training exercises. To propel this behemoth, the INS Tier relies on a combination of diesel and electric propulsion systems. This dual setup allows the ship to operate efficiently, whether it's cruising along the coast or navigating through challenging maritime conditions. Such a system provides cadets with hands-on experience in managing different propulsion methods, a crucial skill for any naval officer. When it comes to speed, the INS Tier doesn't disappoint. With a top speed of 20 knots, this training vessel is swift enough to keep up with the fleet while providing a realistic environment for cadets to learn navigation and ship handling. But the real beauty of the INS Tier lies in its range. With a staggering reach of over 7,000 nautical miles, this ship can take cadets on extended voyages, exposing them to a variety of maritime conditions and situations. Such experiences are invaluable in developing the resilience and adaptability required of naval officers. Of course, a training vessel is more than just its physical characteristics. The INS Tier is equipped with an array of training facilities designed to equip cadets with the skills they need to excel in their naval careers. 
These include advanced navigational aids and communication systems providing a hands-on experience in the operation of these crucial tools. Navigational aids, such as radar and sonar systems, help cadets understand the complexities of maritime navigation. They learn to interpret the data these systems provide, enabling them to navigate safely and efficiently even in challenging conditions. The communication systems on the INS tier are equally important. Cadets learn to use various communication tools, from radio to satellite systems, ensuring they can maintain effective communication with other vessels and shore stations. Then there are the weapons. Although the INS tier is primarily a training vessel, it's equipped with a range of weapons, including anti-aircraft guns and torpedo launchers. This allows cadets to familiarize themselves with these systems, learning their operation and maintenance. In essence, every aspect of the INS tier is designed to contribute to the comprehensive training of naval cadets. From its robust construction and impressive capabilities to its state-of-the-art training facilities, this vessel provides an immersive environment where cadets can learn, grow and prepare for their future roles in the Indian Navy. The INS tier, with its complex systems and state-of-the-art facilities, is a testament to the Indian Navy's commitment to foster well-rounded naval officers. Life on the INS tier is not just about learning, it's about adapting to the demanding life at sea. Aboard this training vessel, each day begins before the sun even makes its appearance. The cadets, or our future naval leaders, start their day with rigorous physical exercises. From push-ups on the deck to running laps around the ship, these exercises are designed to build physical strength and endurance. They learn early on that a strong body and a determined mind are the pillars that hold up the demanding life at sea. Once the physical training is done, they move on to their lessons. The deck of the NS tier becomes a classroom where cadets learn about navigation, communication and various other naval operations. These lessons are not confined to books and charts. They are brought to life every day as the cadets apply their knowledge, navigating the vessel through the vast and often unpredictable sea. Mealtimes on the INS Tier are more than just breaks for sustenance. They are opportunities for cadets to bond, to share their experiences and to learn from each other, fostering a sense of camaraderie and teamwork. This spirit of unity is crucial in the Navy where every operation is a team effort. The day doesn't end with the setting sun. Night navigation exercises are a crucial part of the training aboard the INS tier. Cadets learn to use the stars as their guide navigating the dark waters with nothing but the night sky to light their path. These exercises not only sharpen their navigation skills, but also instill in them a sense of resilience and adaptability. Amidst all this, there is also time for rest. Time for the cadets to reflect on their day, on their learnings and on their journey so far. It is in these quiet moments that they grow, not just as naval officers, but as individuals. Life aboard INS tier is a journey of transformation, molding cadets into future leaders of the Indian Navy. INS tier is not just a ship, it's an integral part of the Indian Navy's backbone. This pride of the Indian Navy plays a pivotal role not just in the waters, but also in shaping the minds and skills of our young naval cadets, the future defenders of our vast coastline. The INS tier, along with other training vessels, serves as a floating university where cadets learn the art of navigation, seamanship and the intricate nuances of naval operations. These vessels are instrumental in providing the hands-on experience that no classroom can offer, bridging the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application. The importance of such training vessels can never be overstated. They ensure the Navy's operational readiness, honing the skills of personnel to navigate operate and make crucial decisions in some of the most challenging conditions at sea. It's here, amidst the high tides and the unpredictable nature of the sea, that leaders are formed. They are trained to not just man the ship, but to lead, strategize and adapt. The INS tier, in particular, holds a special place in the fleet. It's not just about the high-tech equipment or the advanced facilities on board. It's about the legacy it carries, the countless naval officers it has groomed and the pivotal role it plays in maintaining the might of the Indian Navy. Training vessels like the INS tier are crucial for building a strong, capable and resilient Navy. They are the backbone that supports the frontline warships, submarines and aircraft, ensuring that our Navy personnel are not just well versed with their duties, but also prepared for any eventuality. In essence, 
These vessels are the unseen heroes of the Navy, nurturing and shaping the leaders of tomorrow. They are the silent warriors that contribute to our nation's security and the pride and honor of our seas. The INS tier and training vessels like it are the unseen heroes of the Navy, shaping leaders who secure our seas and uphold our 